it's bird week at the library. This week in the children's department, you can pick up the Bird and Beaks Steam Kit. Looks like this in the children's department while supplies last. So in your fun Steam Kit, you will find a bird scavenger hunt. So these are your neighborhood local birds. It gives you the name and see what you can find locally or in your backyard. We have this really funny bird coloring sheet. Super cute. Want to see your creative side? And we have collective nouns for different groups of birds. So I thought this was really fun. Let's pick one randomly. This one, these are sparrows. A host of sparrows. That's what you call a group of sparrows. A host of sparrows. So you can learn the other collective nouns or the other groups of birds on the sheet right here. The last thing in your steam kit is going to be this little special packet. There'll be a plate, this bag of goodies right here. This is for our hands-on activity. And that is for this activity called Battle of the Beaks. In Battle of the Beaks, we are providing the utensils, things that look like the beaks of birds. And we put some bird feed in here. So you are going to do your very own experiment. You are gonna lay it out and try out those varied beaks. We'll do that in a little bit. So for our STEAM activity, we are focusing on our Battle of the Beaks challenge. Beaks, there's also bills on birds that's on the front of their faces. Now, bills and beaks are all different shapes and all different sizes, and it can be a good indicator of what kind of food that bird eats. So for example, I'm gonna show you this little guy right here. See, this hummingbird has a very long, thin beak. So, like you would be thinking, see the straw here? It's like slurping like a straw or a plunger, just very small. So you can kind of gather what a bird eats or their environment based off of their book, beak or bill. So here's some other really good examples. This one stabs, it's a fish eater. It's a night heron. See how it's got a pointy beak there? I find this one really fascinating. So the flamingo, they say it's like a sieve. So like a colander, like you would drain pasta out of at home. So it scoops up the water and fish and other things from there and it drains out almost. They call them soup eaters, isn't that funny? So we have some other ones. We have um, the golden eagle here. It's kind of shaped like, see his beak is almost like a hook, how it goes in. I'm gonna go a little bit closer. So like this hook here, because it's a meat eater, so it can kind of scratch at that food, peck at that food, tear at that food. We have the hawfinch here, who is a seed eater. See, they liken that little beak to a nutcracker. I have one right here, a nutcracker like this. They're saying their beak is like a nutcracker. See if I can get either. I'm not a lefty. So, what other kinds of beaks do we have? We have insect eaters, like the woodpecker. I have a really loud woodpecker at my house. I don't know if you've ever heard them. He actually drilled into my house one day. So they drill in for different bugs and things like that. They go right into the, the tree, really hard. So they have these long drill-like beaks. Now. This guy over here, he's kind of common. He's an aquatic life eater. This is a mallard duck. And he kind of skims like a spoon, you see that? So we have all different types and you can kind of guess the bird um, and what they eat based off of their bills or their beaks. This is a really fun book and it's in the children's department if you're interested. And it's find out birds, it's all different information. But we're focusing on the bills and beaks right now. So we are gonna experiment and guess for ourselves. In your steam kit, you will find this battle of the beaks. We have all different birds here. And just like I was showing you, you know, are they filter feeding? Are they aerial fishing? Um, nectar feeding, because they have that straw like. So you have all those different types. And we are going to guess what implements that we have in our bag, you know, what they would eat or what kind of bill. So you are going to, um, you know, the, the things in our bag represent the different kinds of bills on birds. 
and you are going to predict what you think which food will work best. So in your bag, we have a spoon and a fork and a clothespin to represent different beaks. And we are going to try to empty our bird feed onto the plate and see what we can eat and then maybe gather and see if our predictions were correct if we guessed the right kind of bill. Now, we only provided these beaks, but at home you can add other things. You can add chopsticks for different kinds of beaks. You can add a straw, well, don't add a straw, but like a plunger almost instead of a straw, like we were talking about, like the hummingbird kind of sucking up things. Uh, I have a tweezer here. And like I showed you earlier, I have a nutcracker. So in your bag, you only have these three, three things, but you can obviously use more things at home to try. So let's try and see what we can pick up with our beaks and bills. Okay, so I have my plate and my bird feed here. I'm gonna empty it onto the plate so I don't make a big mess. Let's see what kind of beaks work best for what type of quote, quote, uh, quote, unquote, bird food. So these are the implements that you have in your bag. I'm going to add some more. Because I think it's fun, like I showed you earlier. These guys. So you might have some stuff at home that you can play with too. So let me see. If I use the fork, different things go through, and I, I can do pretty well picking up. Now I'm gonna use chopsticks. I'm gonna get that pinchy. I've got my worm. It's a little bit harder to get seeds though, with that kind of a beak. I think you would need a really pinchy beak to get little stuff like that, and that still might be difficult. Oh man, there we go, I got it, yay. Let's see what else I can get in here. Can I get something like that? Oh, oh yeah. Now, let's see with the spoon. Oh, that, that's very helpful. And what about this beak right here? Those little guys, again, not easy. Oh, having a hard time with the pennies too. Oh, but I got this, look at that. Oop, got that too. Now, a lot of times the reason why birds migrate is to find food. And um, you can tell by their beaks sometimes what they like to eat. They're, it's a little fun game here to see. Let's see. Oh, see, mine doesn't even crack all the way with that. So you have all the varied beaks on that. So try out each of the beaks and see which ones you have a hard time or easier time picking up. And just to be like a scientist, you can record your observations and look for those birds in your backyard. Thanks for joining me, everybody. That's fun. I spy in the sky. I spy with my little eye something purple feathers and small wings. I like to drink nectar from flowers. Ooh, let's see. I'm a hummingbird. See, it drinks nectar because it has this long beak. I spy with my little eyes something with black feathers and big win wings. My head can change color. Hmm. I don't know who that is, do you? Head can change color. <gasps> um, a condor. Look at that wingspan. Look at that. Remember we talked about that? Tearing, hook kind of a mouth, beak, so it can tear into meat. Condor, interesting. I spy with my little eyes something with blue feathers and a short bill. Polly wants a cracker? Can you guess? Oh, that's right, a parrot. 
I spy with my little eyes something with white feathers and a long bill. I like to fish for my food. Hmm, can you guys guess? A pelican. Look at that beak. We talked about that. Can you just scoop up the fish in the water or smear them? I spy with my little eye something with brown feathers that flies very high. I have sharp talons. Let's see. I'm an eagle. I spy with my little eyes something with multicolored feathers that flies low to the ground. My tail is called a dream. Hmm, can you guys guess this one? I can. I spy, I spy, I spy. Ah, peacock. I'm a peacock. Ooh, look at those beautiful feathers. I spy with my little eye something with gray feathers that sleeps when it's light and flies when it's dark. Woohoo! Oh, do you know what it is? <laughs> I'm an owl and I spy you. Woohoo! What can you spy with your little eye? I want you to go out into your neighborhood and spy those different birds and see which ones you can find.